Hi, this is a quick video to show the performance of some third-party note-taking apps, um, how they keep up with ink on the Nova 3 Color e-reader by Onyx. Um, I'll start in actually in a regular note app just to see what the hardware is capable of with its built-in software. So this is... built-in notepad and it keeps up like that. Um, I mentioned that OneNote is not unusable and it's not. Uh, it's not great. It's not fast. I wouldn't use it full-time but oh see all the pretty colors? But if I write you see how the palm rejection just doesn't. Sometimes it thinks you want to move the page when you don't. If I write slowly, it's okay. And as I also, it, it just drops strokes sometimes. The eraser does work as an eraser. So if I write slowly, maybe it just wanted me to put my comma in there. No, and then that's, that's the problem really is that the palm rejection doesn't like to catch the pen and it thinks you want to move the page so sometimes it's fine and it looks beautiful it's okay sometimes it just doesn't know if you're writing or moving the page around and it will drop strokes uh, and that was in speed mode so there was norm less refreshing if I have it in normal mode it tries to refresh too often and I find uh, that it drops, you see the whole screen flashes much more often as it refreshes the full screen and it will drop strokes completely while it's refreshing. So the easiest way to use it is either in speed or A2 where it's not gonna try to refresh the screen while you're drawing, but then you see the ghosting. So I'm not writing apparently. This is, I didn't see the paper moves under my hand again. So this is A2 mode, which is faster for keeping up. It's less laggy, but we still have that palm rejection problem. I haven't figured out why it does not like to recognize the pen tip close enough. And especially, it's especially bad in this lower corner. So if you're just going to annotate stuff uh, up here, <laughs> over here, just or you know down here when your hands not on it it's not so bad um, and you do get all the pretty colors but of course uh, in a mode like this you're gonna ghost a lot so you just tap up here and you can refresh the screen if you want to look at a clean screen so that's um, that's one note on just a blank note but I know that there were questions about hey can I annotate a big PDF so um, I'll embarrass my kid by correcting some of his work here. Um, he actually had a misspelling in week 20. So I'll load his week 20. Oh, no problem now in speed mode. You're in A2. <laughs> Scrolling around is really messy with the ghosting. But down, and then you see how the scrolling slows a lot when I take it out of A2. So we'll come down to his dictation, and he misspelled Alexander. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to be the mean parent that corrects my child in red ink. And we will say that should be that should be an E. Now, because this is one note, this will sync back, and on his iPad, he will see the correction there. And I was able to cleanly make one small annotation over. You saw how slow it was to pick that up. Um, but it's functional. Like I said, it's, it's not unusable. I wouldn't use it as my primary note taking uh, solution on this device, but that's what it can do, especially if you're patient um, and willing to kind of deal with the paper potentially moving around under your hand or just drawing slowly and waiting for the ink to catch up or leaving it in A2 mode and dealing with the ghosting. 
much. Oh, and see, and didn't like my sew at all. So, so much. I should write so much ghosting, but I won't because this is my kid's schoolwork and I'm just going to leave that for him. Um, that's what OneNote does. Oh, and I, let's see, um, let me pull up a really, really big PDF just so you can see what scrolling is like. We are still in an A2, so it's going to go fast, but it's going to ghost badly. This is 300 pages of workbook <laughs> that my eight year old's going to have to go through soon. And it moves fast. And if I stop and I want to zoom in, you can see the color. It's in color. It's in color. Uh, and I want to draw on it. The plural noun is doors. Oh, that time it decided to work pretty well. Ah, there it goes. It it just, it works well and then it doesn't. And if you're patient and you're willing to work through it not working well, you can make it work. But I, I would still load a PDF into the Neo Reader and, and annotate on it that way before I would go through OneNote. I'm, this is here just because this is where I keep all the kids' schoolwork and so I can demonstrate how OneNote works. Um, and it is similar in something like Keep Notes. This is Google Keep. And if I open an ink note, you're going to see that ink is about the same. It's just, it's going to drop stuff. I have no idea if it's not, my guess would be that it is not treating the pen as a separate pen. And you see all these ink marks from my hand being there. And we're back to the days of a big rubber nub on a capacitive screen. It, the third party apps are just, it would seem that they are not differentiating between stylus and hand which is odd because this is this is a Wacom layer. It should automatically be doing that. I'm not sure why these apps don't do it, but they don't. Um, and then finally, for any musicians out there who want to know, uh, I don't recommend trying to read sheet music on an eight inch screen, but here it is. Um, Mobile Sheets Pro is what I usually go for on an Android or a Windows machine. And the music is really, really tiny, but it does work uh, with the stylus first, sometimes, <laughs> and it is fast enough to drop, and it's accurate enough to drop teeny tiny little markings in there. Let's see, we're going to use two, one, two, one, two, one, I don't know, that's really a bad fingering, but it doesn't matter. However, the eraser is not an eraser here. Uh, in mobile sheets, you do have to go select the eraser tool and scrub out anything you don't want. But if this ever were to come in a larger screen in color, there's a good chance that this will work. I have not tried the Max, Max Lumi, any of the 13.3 inch um, books products to know if the inking is comparable in those, but I would imagine so the hardware is similar um, in terms of processor. But that is what I have so far on this. So you can see what you get with the third party apps. They're definitely better than they have been. Certainly a huge improvement from the Nova Pro that I was using before, but nothing, nothing to using the Notes app directly, you know, where you can leave it in, where's my, you can leave it in a pretty mode not A2, in normal mode where it's going to look nice. See, this looks nice fast, and it doesn't need to refresh as much, and the eraser is an eraser. And it does have all the colors here. And the PDF reader is just as good if I we're in the library uh, on a PDF and I wanted to write, it's fast. So if you're 
if you're annotating PDFs, really the best way to do it is directly through NeoReader. Um, I wouldn't attempt OneNote unless you just desperately need it to sync through OneNote. It's probably less cumbersome to move PDFs back and forth between devices than to try to cludge OneNote into doing anything more than very, very minimal annotations.